um, several years ago, I started thinking about a piano teacher I had, whose name was Ernesto Baruman. And um, he, he was actually my, I started taking piano lessons when I was six from my aunt, who was a, a student <coughs> at Baruman's. And I just hated piano. I hated, uh, you know, everything. In fact, I was so bad at it that in order to get me to learn to play, my aunt would actually put her fingers over my fingers into the keys so I'd memorize it like that. But then when I was 14, um, my father died. And just in that area, that just that time, I started listening to Chopin waltzes and discovered that this incredible solitude, this incredible um, healing sense for music. And then I began to play seriously. And I had a chance to take lessons from Ernesto Verma. And he was, I remember him when I was a little kid going to his concerts, and he dressed in flamenco costume. And so I came up with a whole bunch of ideas about, about this and started writing this long, 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 long story, really almost a novel. And it just didn't gel. And then one night, several years ago, at the Conklin Barn, um, you and I read together, and she came out, Animal came, came out wearing these big boots, and she said, something like, my entrada, my entrance, right? And suddenly, this whole thing began to make sense to me. So I changed Ernesto to Ernesto, and said the whole thing as a flamenco thing. Now, the thing about flamenco is that the most important thing about flamenco is, or any other kind of art, but really characterizing flamenco, is duende. Duende is, um, you say, that has duende. You know, that, so it's really, someone defined it at Lorca, in fact, defined it as, this, as death <coughs> looking over your shoulder at you. And, you know, Samuel Johnson said, there's nothing like the, the, um, uh, the schedule of death to take place in the next half hour to wonderfully concentrate the mind. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so Duende is what we look for in producing art. And it's not just the artist who feels it, but it's the audience too at the same time. One other thing, just quickly, is that there are a lot of, um, I discovered that uh, flamenco has, is really, the music is based on um, poetry, is based on a poetic, several poetic forms. And so what I've done in this, and you're not going to, it's not going to make any sense to you unless you actually looked at the page, is that I've imitated various forms on this. Okay. So here, here's the first part <coughs> of Ernesta and the style of the flamenco. <coughs> This is the Aeo, right? The, the um, epigraph on top is, uh, Ernesta is, is an extremely dishonest narrator. <laughs> and uh, the epigraph is from a poem by James Tate, uh, and it says, music will watch us drown. This is, James Tate is just he's still alive, right? Yeah. But Ernesta, at the end of this poem, takes that quote and makes it her own. So this is Aeo. What is that you're doing, Babosa? Stop it now, it annoys me. I'd been playing a Chopin waltz for Senorita Ernesta. It was the Opus 42 in A flat. And I, as was my wont, let my body sway lavishly. In my mind, I was a single dancer in a crystal ballroom, solitude and grace, propelling my fingers across the keys. Are you some kind of puto? Maestra demanded, ay, ay, ay. Perhaps I'd overdone it. But continued playing now, weeping the while. I could not stop. I was like a great forest of dancers shaking all at once in the emptiness that follows the hurricane. No me jodas, she cried. Stop it. But later, you have talent, I must say, regretfully, perhaps. It could be that you'll land upon the concert stage, tumultuous applause, or, it is more probable, you'll land on your culo, a knife between your ribs, if you go on swaying and swooning your torso like that. But later still, I, sighing, you remind me too much of myself. <laughs> 